Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, everyone. This is Vivian. Welcome back to my channel. I am、uh, not very good at this thing, so sorry for the you know beginning of that thirty second. It was rolling around my room. But today I'm going to do another envelope art, and this is for January. I know January is always almost over, but、uh, it's not over yet. And、uh, today I'm going to write、um, this yellow envelope. It's actually they call this color bumblebee, and、uh, I think it's a great color for this month's envelope. So today I'm also going to show.、Um, How to make your own sumi ink? So sumi ink is this black Chinese、uh, ink or Japanese ink. You can buy in a bottle like this, and if you buy a bottle like this, you can just use a regular、um, whatever container or plate, some sort of saucer that you pour out this ink to use. But if you have seen this on art supply store and wondering what this is, this is sumi ink stone. So this part is really just a stone, and this is an ink stick. So you're gonna get ink out of the stick, and the stone、uh, is just a really good grinding surface for making the ink. And all you need to do, all you need to have to start is to have some water, clean water, whatever tap water. So this is really just、um, plain water. I put it in some sort of、um, droplet container, but you know it's really just clear water, tap water. And you don't need to have a lot.、Uh, I'm just going to. Maybe do a couple droplet, and you just make ink with this ink stick. What you do is just to grind it, and do it in a circular motion, uh, slower, uh, slowly grinding. And you want to um apply pressure while you're doing this. So apply pressure as you are grinding, so that way you get the ink out of the stick. And pretty soon you will get um black ink. And what's good about sumi ink is that. Making your own sumi ink is you can control the darkness. So the more you grind, the darker it gets, and it can get really thick. So if you seen、um, some Chinese art,、uh, Asian like Chinese、uh, calligraphy painting with sumi ink, like black and white calligraphy, or sometimes even they also have color. A lot of time it's just black and white. You see a gradation of gray and black. So that's because they can they make when they make their own ink they can control how dark and how light、uh, you want. But of course, if you buy your if you just buy ink from a bottle, you can dilute it by adding water and then get a gray gray、uh, a lighter you know thinner、uh, ink color. So as you can see,、uh, maybe I don't know if you can see, but I can see that the ink is already getting pretty dark. So I'm doing just、uh, do a circular motion. I probably should do this slower, but because I'm on live stream, I get antsy and I want to do it really fast. <laughs> no,、um, but if you ask any you know、uh, Chinese calligraphy artist or you know master, they would tell you like do it slowly. It's a, it's supposed to be very meditating and、uh, very calming and soothing. So that's totally not my personality. And you can just test out how、uh, dark this is by, by, by using it on the brush. I need some scrap paper. So now, okay, that's. I want it to be even more thicker. So let's just spend a couple, maybe another minute. And you can feel it that、like、it gets smooth. Like now, you can even. Oh, maybe not. Like it gets to a point, like you can have like a streak. Like, ooh, like here you can see it's almost, it's almost like on a cooking show. They say if you get a you know your pancake batter into a certain consistency, you scrape off the back side of your spatula, you get a streak.、Uh, so you wanna you know this is how you can tell if your ink is thick enough. So I can I think it's pretty thick. Like it's already getting into a. I would say. What would this be like a cream, a、uh, buttermilk consistency? Okay, you see how it's like not as liquidy. I don't know. Can you see? You see, it's like very thick. So this is what I want. And while after you finish making the ink, you want to wipe off、uh, the wipe clean the ink stick. Before you start using them, because what will happen is like the ink will you know get on the side of the stick, and when it dry, it will just become gunky. So you don't want that. 
And of course, this is the ink stick. You don't want to wash it because then you just want you. You're never gonna finish washing it. So I'm just gonna wipe it dry and clean. And now I can set this thing aside, and then I can start using this ink. So it's like a miracle. You just turn water into ink. Amazing. And today I'm going to. Uh, I kind of already measure out the size I need to write, and I have. A smaller, not smaller, this size envelope, I have a name that's pretty long. So I'm going to actually use a Western brush. Normally, I would use a Chinese brush to use the ink, but it really doesn't matter. Any brush will do. And in case you're wondering where do I get these address from, I have a, um, a sign-up sheet, a sign-up form. If you want to participate in receiving an envelope art, you can sign up below. Uh, obviously, you need to give me consent of, uh, you know, showing your address on YouTube. So, if you have um, a lot of ink, you can definitely let the ink flow down there. But actually, I don't know why, you know, a flat plate would definitely do. I mean, not if you're making the ink. I just that's just a space for you know restore uh, for a reservoir for more ink if you're making a lot not a lot more ink. Anyway, sorry for rambling. I didn't really sleep much last night. That's my excuse. So the first one I have, it's a quite a long name. What, who do I have here? I have Jonadab Cruz. And I, what I like about Chinese ink is it's very, uh, it can be very thick. Normally it's thicker than your normal ink and it's very, very black. And I like how like a dry brush uh, uh, style. So if you have seen that around, uh, this ink is what you want to use. So let me just test it out. Okay, that's good. So that's Jonadab, and last name is Cruz. So there is the envelope. It's a I'll let it dry before I write down the address so I don't accidentally smudge it. And the second one I have is um, Sia. So Sia is too cool for last name. So she only gave me Sia. I don't know. I think this is first name. So that's S. I, I probably could have used a bigger brush because her name is so short. Um, but this will do. So luckily, not luckily, but uh, today's envelope are both in the state, so I don't have to put on um, crazy long addresses. And also, by the way, if you're signing up for this project, uh, make sure you give me correct address because sometimes I get addresses that I couldn't verify. You know, I would, I, of course, I want to make sure the address is is actually validated by USPS. Um, so make sure you give me you know the correct format, and especially if you live in. Um, outside of state, your address, you know, hopefully it's uh, in an international uh, recognizable way. <laughs> Sometimes I get like crazy long address that I couldn't find anywhere on Google map and, uh, and I couldn't verify it. So I won't be able to send you this mail. Okay, so for the address, I am not going to use ink. You see, I really didn't need to make so much ink. Um, I'll try to find a use for that later. So for the address, I'm going to use a postcard marker. Um, because all out of all the black marker, I, I think Postcard, you know, it's acrylic 
uh, water-based acrylic marker. It's the darkest one. It's I I have tried other black marker, and then you know not all black markers are the same. Some are not as opaque. Some are not as um, dark, or some just don't come in a in the size that you want. So I find that for Posca marker is what I um, I like how it's really the coverage is really well. So from Chana Deb, Cruz live in Michigan. Ah, I misspelled. Bummer. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix that. Some. <laughs> I'm going to need to fix that later. But uh, easy, I can just um, paste another sheet of, um, find another email, another envelope, a scrap envelope, and I'll cover that. That's why um, you know, I wasn't even talking. I couldn't spell already. So imagine that I'm trying to talk and 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 write at the same time. How difficult that was. Holland, H O L L. And Michigan four 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 nine two okay and for C uh, is in two seven five four one Mission California nine two nine two six nine two. Okay. So I'm not, not going to do too much crazy addressing uh, embellishment today because I like it how it's the, the brush letter just stands out. So all I need now is to do um, put on some stamp. I I actually got these um, myself, uh, address stamp for myself over the holiday. And uh, so now I don't have to write my address or I don't have to use you know address sticker. I can just you know use these stamps. But as you can see, I have a really large stamp. It's not going to work here. But for Sia, I can definitely put my stamp here. Uh, I got these from rubber stamps. So these are acrylic stamps. And then uh, it's sold separately. The stamp and the acrylic, bar, uh, acrylic block is sold separately. So these come off and you can have uh, different stamps. You just need one acrylic block. So this is just a regular black uh, stamp pad. Okay, and with the acrylic stamp block is that you can see where you're stamping. There. And because <clears throat> for Jonadab, I, I don't have enough room, so I'm going to stamp at the back. That can be quite nice too. So all I need to do is clean the stamp now. I mean, not all, like now I need to clean the stamp. And uh, let me show you, you can just peel off this acrylic stamp. It's like a, has like a silicone sticky back thing. They call it acrylic, but I think it's like a soft, almost like silicone or I don't know, some sort of plastic. So you can have uh, many stamps and if you, you just need one block or you know, you, that you can swap. So like I have different uh, acrylic stamp, I can just you know swap out the design or the stamp and then use the same block. So if you're interested in getting a stamp, um, where I got it from is from rubberstamp rubberstamps.com. I'll leave the link in below as well. And for Jonadab, 
Okay, so for Sia, I'm going to give her uh -oh, a very cute Toy Story stamp. I think it goes nice with the orange color. And I also have a um, vintage stamp. I think maybe the red one goes better. Yeah, I think that'll be nice. These are totally not necessary, but I like, I just, you know, find it very cute to have vintage stamp, even though it's, you know, I don't need extra postage. <clears throat> so there you go. And then for um, John and Deb, I'm going to use this black uh, forever stamp. I think it's a nice match with the black, um, black writing. And I also have a, another vintage stamp. It's brownish, so it's a nice complementing color, I think. There you have it. Two stamp, uh, two stamps, two envelopes for January. So if you are interested in, in uh, getting a ink stone like this one, they, uh, I'll put a link in below. You can get it in specialty or um, art supply store. But um, there is, a, if you go to Chinese place or Asian market, Asian art supply store, you can probably find different grades of um, ink stone. Uh, same with the ink stick. But I think here in the state, you 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 probably only have one selection so and and plus i am not a expert in chinese calligraphy or you know chinese uh, sumi ink or japanese sumi ink so all i all i'm getting is like the very basic one so you don't need to find you don't need to buy the expensive one uh, for beginners or just for novice um, so this is what i have for today and uh, i hope you find this interesting and learn a thing or two uh, a thing or two about Chinese uh, or Sumi ink. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.